In springtime, Rusty loves to visit a faraway place. It's filled with bluebells. The air smells sweet and Rusty thinks there is no better place to be though. But on one day, Thomas was passing by just as Rusty was having a drink. Said Rusty. Said Rusty. Replied the driver. Laughed Rusty. Later, Rusty saw Douglas and Percy. Rusty had an idea. And Rusty explained everything. Then Rusty decided. Rusty told the driver all about the plan and that night he came to the shed. Said Rusty. It took them all the next day to travel to the other railway. Darkness fell and the cold wind blew. But it was only the sounds of the lonely scrapyard diesels, silent and still, lined up on guard. Rusty plucked up courage. Rusty railed begin, began. Rusty railed began. Wait, sorry. Rusty rolled began. Rusty grew braver still. A small engine with a tall funnel stood sad and alone in the shadowy siding. His was, driver was in, huddled in a cab, the, uh, keeping him company, said Rusty. The engine looked startled. Everyone worked fast. It was difficult to set the fire, but the soon but it was going hot and Stepney had a good head of steam. Rusty's engineer agreed to be Stepney's fireman. So they set past bleak and broading lines of diesels. They hissed, replied Rusty, and they chuffed quickly away, whispered Rusty. When Rusty and the engine arrived in the valley, a big welcome awaited them, said the manager. His driver was delighted. Now the little engine is as happy as can be and helps the passengers and visit a beautiful bluebell time. His name is Stepney, but everyone calls him the Bluebell Engine.